Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion on Nexus Gaming. In the last episode we uh, did some more side quests, we finished up all the Nurnru and all the Shadow Banished Wine. And today we are going to start work on the Collector Quest where we got to get 10 Aelid statues from 10 different ruins. It's a lot, trust me, it's a lot. But uh, I wanted to start off... Since we're going to be doing so much exploration and probably getting a lot of loot, I want to start off with a clean Have inventory a for this. You won't find better prices in all so selling in all of this stuff we don't need or want. Do I want that? I don't want that. Okay. That was easy. Get rid of all of these. That's more the robe That's of protection. We're gonna keep our shrouded armor, of course. You've made a good bit of gold. And in between episodes, That's I also went ahead and I sold, or I repaired all my armor, and I made all the potions I can, and so I can go ahead and sell all of these. Make some money. We're almost to two hundred thousand gold. We are really raking it in. It's okay. And Next session, when we're doing all the uh, DLC housing, I think we're gonna dip into a large chunk of it, trust me. There's at least one house I can think of that has you spin to upgrade it. But uh, let's see. Here's all the ingredients I have left customer. right here. Not a whole lot. I used most of my uh, ectoplasm with all those ogre's teeth we got, so that was pretty good. Uh, I don't think I've learned this oppressing grasp tome, so might as well keep that there. I think before I jump into like the proper DLC, like Knights of the Nine and Shivering Isles, I might want to make myself like ultimate armor if I can. Ultimate armor and ultimate weapon. You got a good. Just so I can rip and tear through it, you know. I don't know. I don't do a lot of enchanting in these games, obviously, so it might be a little more complicated than I think, but I'm willing to look it up and learn it and try it, because I think that would be really cool. Uh, let's see, where was that? Oppressing Grasp. Please, it is good to. Yeah, you saw me like literally not even a minute ago. Here, take that too. Nice. That seems. Thank. All right. Please, so, these alien statues, we need nine of them. Because we started the quest by selling one of them to Umbacano. And these other nine are just dotted around in alien ruins randomly. Not randomly. Just dotted around in specific alien ruins around Cyrodiil. So, I have me a list, and I'm going to do the three small ruins first today. If we can sell two statues... Then we can do another side quest. So that's my goal. So the first one I'm going for is right near Cropsford. There should be a little road going to it. We've also, like, it's been a month since we've been here and they are starting to rebuild. We already have a house rebuilt. I, I would think they would have had the other one rebuilt by now, but I guess not. They're not that fast. I'm also going the wrong way. The Iliad Ruin is going to be down this road here. I'm surprised we don't already see it on the radar because it's not that far away. There it is. And like I said, we're just going after the small ruins today. I want to try and get three of them done and the side quest if I can. But that might be a little overzealous. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, so here we are. This is Ka Ka Kulat. Kulat, yes. Uh, there's a nerd root down there if you want it. I don't need it anymore, so I'm skipping it. And let's just dive on in. Get all the loot we can. Because we are loot freaks. Uh, I don't think having this as an, our active quest will point us to him or anything, no. Yeah, they don't even give you quest markers for this to show you where the statues are. Which means unless you have a guide on the internet, um, you're, you're screwed just searching endlessly 
for uh, alien statues. I don't know what that just opened. That worries me a little bit. Uh, we'll leave it for now. We will leave it. Uh, I have an idea what it might have opened. There was a closed door like around here somewhere. I'm surprised I haven't come across any enemies yet. Like not even at the beginning here. There's definitely going to be enemies somewhere. It opened that door. Okay. Maybe it's waiting for you to get into the dungeon proper when you open the door to start throwing enemies at you. Although I still don't see any down there. Um. Oh, that crumbled like right underneath me. Didn't even crumble all the way. Some trap that was, right? Okay, let's just uh, keep going here. Gonna be honest, this uh, this ruin is boring me a little. So far, what's over here? We got two places we can go. Check our local map. This looks like it leads to a dead end. That leads to a dead end as well. Is this really all there is to this dungeon? There's like not even... Not even any enemies or anything? If so, that is uh... It's pretty wild. If I do say so myself. Yeah, yeah there's... Oh. Oh. Oh, hey there. Wow. I block with my shield and the first hit by this zombie gives me a disease. I love that. So is that legit the only enemy in the dungeon? No? There's there's another one somewhere. I hear the music. Where, where's this one? Up oh, there. It's running towards us, I guess. So the enemies don't show up until you uh, get the statue, apparently. Oh, there's another one over here. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take the Mort Flesh. Did I just jump up there? Oh my god. I can really... I can really jump that high? How did I do that? I don't understand how I just did that, but it's just a testament to my jumping ability. My acrobatic skill. That one even surprised me. Okay, is there going to be another enemy where I got this from? Maybe? No? Uh, over this direction, maybe? Now that the enemies are spawning, I do want to kind of clear out the enemies from this place. But it looks like there's not that much more. Alright, well, uh, that's already one alien statue in the bag. Not even ten minutes in. Oh, here we go. We got two more. I think these dread zombies run a little faster. Not too much faster, just a little bit. Okay, yeah, the exit should be right over here. Around the corner. Cool, cool. That one was easy. Before we go sell this, let's head over to the next one. Which... I'm trying to remember where... I looked up on the map where these are. This next one is uh, next to Lord Rugdump's estate. It's going to be southeast of it. Yeah, we already see it on the radar over here, which is cool. Uh, hopefully there's more to do in this one. When I looked up the small ones, I was hoping it'd be a little larger than that, but hey. The faster I can get through it, the better, I guess, right? Okay, let's hop up here. I hear enemies. It's a bear. It's... Can this bear get me? I can't even get up here. We have found Fanicus. Fanakis? Fanakasakakaba? Fa fa There's another one like, that's like called Fanakosical. I remember that one. I named it an episode after it because uh, 
there was nothing else relevant in the episode. So I just named it after this random ass alien ruin that I found. Uh, where's the entrance? Over here? Alright. Oh, we got a wolf right away. That's, uh... That's a little better than just walking through the whole thing with no enemies. See a guy over there. Oh, hey, we got these things. That I gotta wait for, or... Just, okay, I can't run under them in time, but I can jump over them. Okay. We've got ourselves a live one. Oh, we got vampires here. Okay. Well, this one ought to be more lively then. Alright, they're down. Take the vampire dust. We'll be able to sell that to old Roland at the uh, Vampire Hunter's headquarters. I, I just looted that one, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, we got some coffins. Coffin up what? Haha. -ha. Okay. Um, that leads down into the flooded section there. Do I see where the other one leads? It leads back that way. Okay, that loops around. Wait. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. Okay. So I'm guessing through here is going to be another button that opens up that door. Yep, there we go. And we can move on to this side. And kill him. He's been after us since we got here. Okay. Okay. Wait. Whoa, what is this? This is a different thing. Is this like another tunnel for the water? Yeah, okay. So this way we go. I think we're already almost to the end of this one. Like I said, I chose three small ones to do. Hey there, buddy. That invisibility doesn't work if I can sense your life. Even though you're a vampire and you don't really have life, I can still sense you. That's one, like, nitpicky thing about this game. The detect life spell and enchantment, it should not work for undead. It makes no sense at all. But if it works, it works. I can't do anything about it. I mean, I could probably mod it or go into the game's files and make it to where it doesn't work, but... I don't know. Would, would you be able to turn that off just for undead? That's interesting. I don't know. But, uh, let's see. I'm guessing the statue is underwater? Oh yeah, we kind of have to go underwater now. Um, let's see. There's... Actually, nothing in this room. No statue. Probably up this way. Oh, yep. Here is a statue. And I guess we go this way now. And this leads back through there, back to this main room. Over here. Oh, I heard those things swinging and I thought, did I just miss something behind me? I'm here, and you soon won't be. Alright. Yeah, we should be... Yeah, we've been in this room already. Okay. So we've cleared it out. Before I uh, leave, though, I do want to kind of dive through the water here, just in case I miss something, you know? Sometimes they like to hide chests in the underwater bits here. Gonna hop over and into this one. Uh, wasn't I just over here? I was. Okay, I didn't go this way. And over 
here. They have these little nooks and crannies in them that they can hide stuff in, but it looks like they didn't. Can I get up here and over to here? Yeah. See, if I really wanted to, I didn't have to go through that whole thing. I could have just hopped my way over as acrobatics, but that's no fun, is it? All right. Let's get on out of here. Now, do we go ahead and sell these? Where am I? Do we go ahead and sell these two and do the next side quest, or we just do we just hit up this next small one? This next small one is, um... I actually can't remember at all where this next small one is. Like, at all. I can't remember what it was next to or anything. Um... It wasn't that one. Trying to look for something that that'll remind me where it is. But yeah, no, I can't remember where this next one is at all. Uh, it was over here by Sancrator. There we go. Uh, let's go from yeah, let's go from Hermes Moore's Shrine. We're going to be falling down some mountains, but I feel like that's the fastest route there. And all these ogres along the path, we'll just ignore them. They don't need us. Although we do need their their fangs. For our ectoplasm. The hard part here is going to be getting down without dying. Because you know my... Oh, my complete want... To jump off of things like this and see if I survive. Oh. I survived. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Let's uh, go down the wimp way. The last thing I want to do is be left with a sliver of health and then accidentally fall down a small little area and die. Uh, is this it right here? I think this is it right ahead of us here. Yeah, this one was easy to find from Hermes Mora. Uh, there's a bear there I don't want to deal with. Alright, we are here at Nenendava. Let's see what's inside Aelid Ruin. Number three. Oh, looks like we got more vampires. I have contracted chills. What's behind me? Why am I... Why can't I not move? Jesus. Okay, I was like trapped between three things. A dread zombie, a vampire, and... I think another zombie that the vampire summoned. That was a little annoying. And see, I would have died there if I was left with a sliver of health from that jump. So it's a good thing I reloaded. Which way are we going here? Let's go this way. That was a hard lock. That leads straight to the statue. Okay. Um, okay, so you don't have to go through this whole ruin, I guess, to get to the statue. You just have to make it into this room. Which is nice, but uh, we're still going to explore the whole thing. Alright, let's go the other way now, I guess. down through here. Uh, we got a dead skeleton here, which usually means, yeah, traps. Well, well. Traps and rats. Take those. We got a vampire coming towards us here. We're just gonna chill and loot while it 
decides what it wants to do. There we go. Oh. Am I supposed to be impressed? No! No! No, you're not supposed to be impressed. You're supposed to be dead. So all is right in the world. Alright, anything on the sides here? Nope. Anything around the corner here? Nope. What about the other corner? That is a big no. Okay. Uh, next room. This looks like a vampire boss room of sorts. We got a vampire mage and a gloom wraith. Take that and whatever he has on him. And uh, loot his chambers. His coffin probably has some good stuff in it. I assume that's a boss coffin. Of course, I loot the other coffins first. Gotta build up, you know. Oh, it's a hard lock coffin. Um, we don't need a master... We do need a master calcinator. There we go. We have master alchemy tools now. I love it. I still don't really know what the difference between them all is, but hey, we got it. Gotta love it. Okay, we got a Ninendava gate key. I'm guessing that opens the gate to the, uh, the statue. So the idea is you do go through the dungeon grab the key then you head back and you open the gate and get the statue but uh we have the skeleton key so i just kind of spammed it also i ran through that without remembering the trap was there and the trap didn't spring at all look at us go we're just tearing through it this episode all right let's head back to the imperial city and sell these statues Uh, Umbicano's Manor should be here in the Talos Plaza District. Right here, I believe? Yeah. Good to see you again, sir. Shall I escort you upstairs to see my master? Yeah, sure. Show me to Umbicano right away. Very good. Please follow me. Hello. Oh, I actually have to stay near this guy. Okay. Or else he stops moving. Why can't I just walk up there myself? That's a good question. All right, Umbicano, I got some statues for you. Ah, yes, my treasure hunting friend. What can I do for you? Statues. Yes. Have you found another statue for me? I found three, but here's one for five hundred. Ah, a second ancestor. Excellent. I had wondered whether the first was just luck, but I see now that you have some skill at this work. By good fortune, my research has uncovered some new information that may help you in your search for the remaining statues. What have you learned? I have found the names of a number of alien cities where the statues may have been taken for safekeeping during the siege of White Gold Tower. The only modern sites that still bear their ancient names are Moranda, Makamentain, Wenyanduik, Ninendava, and Fanakas. There is no guarantee that my sources are correct, of course, but these should at least provide a starting point for your search. Okay, so he gives us five locations. We've already hit two of them, and I'm actually not sure if the other three are correct or not. I only paid attention to the small ruins when I was looking for some to go to, but he does give you a little bit of help in finding these things. Yes, have you found another statue for me? Yeah, I have a third one here. Beautiful. Exquisite. You have proven yourself to be quite resourceful. I have another task which should interest someone of your particular talents. Uh, but first, let me sell you a fourth one. Yes. Well done. Here is your payment, as promised. All right, now once you sell him three statues, he's going to give you another task. You have proven yourself more than a simple grave robber. I believe you can handle a more complicated assignment. Are you interested? Yes, tell me more. Excellent. Here, 
Take a look at this sketch. The ancient text referred to this site only as the High Fane. Do you know it? No, that doesn't look familiar. I'm not surprised. I have not been able to find any modern reference to it. Still, the architectural detail is distinctive enough. It may still be recognizable. What am I supposed to be looking for? The High Fane dates from the late Aeliad period, following the fall of White Gold Tower. A very troubled time for that ancient people. A time I find most fascinating. The drawing on the bottom of the page I gave you depicts a carved panel from the central chamber of the High Fane. I believe this carving will shed new light on Aeliad history. If I am able to examine it closely, I would like you to retrieve it for me. You will need this as well. It is the key to the inner chamber of the High Fane. I part with it reluctantly, so guard it well. It is what began my search for the High Fane many years ago. All right, well, do you know anything else about it? Your first task is to locate the ruins of the High Fane. I believe it must now be known by a different name. Okay, well, uh, that doesn't tell me much. Good day. Oh, I'm sitting down. That's why I can't move. All right, so we're going to work on this uh, Nothing You Can Possess quest for the High Fane. We need to, we need to figure out what the High Fane ah, is. Milona Umbernox, Ariana. That doesn't help us at all. You too. Uh, do you have some books or something? Oh yeah, all the statues get displayed in this case here, which is pretty nice. Let's see the madness of Pelagius, real Berenzia, Hemelze, no. The wild elves. Um, let's see. That would be the Aeliads. The Aeliads are the wild elves. So I'm looking, I'm scanning for anything on a high fane. No, there's nothing on the high fane there. Okay. Um, uh, maybe. Do you know anything? I work as a god. You don't even have the option. Okay. I don't know where the other guy went. Glories and laments. Uh, this mentions an alien ruin, Sayat Tatar, which I think we uh, explored before. I remember that one. Um, I'm not seeing anything on a high fane. Nope. Let's check these books real quick. You never know. Don't see anything useful there. I actually don't know how to proceed this and how to figure out. You must be Umbacano's new plaything. Well met. I am Claude Marrick, another pawn in Umbacano's game. I always enjoy meeting my rival treasure hunters. What? Did you think you were the only one? <laughs> Come, let's have a drink together. Um... Okay, maybe this is how it proceeds. Maybe this is how I figure out where the high fane is. I was just looking for books. I figured it was a sleuthing thing. You have to figure it out for yourself. But maybe this guy is just going to tell me. Who knows? Uh, where... He's over here. A drink for my friend. Let's just sit right next to him. Way taller than him, so we look threatening. Now then. I propose a toast. To Umbacano, may his purse never run dry. Yeah, tell me about the High Fane. What would be the sport in me just telling you? I'm not that drunk yet. No, you must earn your pay. Read The Cleansing of the Fane. You may be less eager to seek the High Fane then. The cleansing of the Fane. I don't own it. One of the rare book dealers in the Market District may have a copy. Read it. Educate yourself. Okay, Cleansing of the Fane. Remember, Remember that title. Read the Cleansing of the Fane before deciding whether to seek for Umbacano's treasure. Alright, so, uh... I guess we're going to the First Edition? That's the name of the market bookstore, right? The First Edition? Uh, is... Is it still time? 12.32pm. It's past noon, so... 
It's just raining. Hey, buddy. Greetings, champion. I'm at your service. Yeah, I need a book called what The Cleansing of the Fane. There it is. We're gonna I'll buy that. You. Tell you. And uh, we'll take a look at it. The only surviving fragment of the Chronicle of the First Era section of the Alessian Order. Blah, blah, blah. He recorded events. The day darkened over all the lands. Blah, blah, blah. I don't. Uh, let's see. Same year. Great concourse for the devils from the ancient Elvish temple Malata. Not been seen since the king. Days of King Belharza. He's like the half minotaur guy, I think. That was Alessia's son or something. I think. Uh, greatly afflicted the land that no man could plow or reap or seed. Appealed to the brothers of Maruk and them, Abbot Cosmus, gathered the brothers, led them to Malata, and came against it with holy fire, and the foul demons were destroyed. Relics and books were therein burned. Okay, so apparently this place Farewell. was burned to the ground and destroyed. But it does tell us that the name of the place is Malata. What do you need, champion? I just I have no idea where Malata is, so maybe maybe he can help us with that. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hello. You're, you're sitting in my chair. I was sitting next to that what can man. I, do for you now, my friend? I was sitting next to that man. And so we meet again. What can I do for you this time? Uh yeah, I, I read the cleansing of the fane. I know about the high fame. the sport in me just I, read? I, I literally, I read it. I read it, dude. I read it. Farewell. Do I have to read it again, like right in front of you? Like I have it right here. I'm reading it. Well, my friend. What am I doing? What's the quest objective? Perhaps I can persuade so him. To... Okay, let's uh, play we'll this see. game. And just bribe him. For me, thanks. You know what? I will help you. Although it is liable to get you killed. The High Fane is now known as Malada, up in the Vallas Mountains. But I do not advise you to go there. Read the cleansing of the Fane first, then decide. As I said, a very bad place. Okay, well I know about Malada. Must I hold your hand? I begin to wonder what Umbacano sees in you. It is an alien ruin. Uh, okay, I got that. I got that. Okay, we have the location. Looks like we didn't even have to read the book or get the book. We just had to convince him to tell us. Okay, Malata. He said it was up in the mountains somewhere? Am I looking in the right mountains? Did I just... Okay. These mountains. Um... I guess we'll run there from Periite Shrine. It's gonna be a little bit of a walk, but let's get to it. Is this the right direction? It is, okay. Got a little bit of a walking segment this episode, because it's sending us in the middle of nowhere. Fun, fun. All right, we'll probably discover like a cave or two along the way. It's fine, I'm not gonna explore it though. Kill what we see along the way. Get the ingredients. This area looks pretty cool. Very nice and naturey. Got all the trees and the hills and the mountains in the distance. Open skies. It looks nice. This game has some really good scenery if you have the settings turned all the way up. Like, honestly, I would prefer this... I would prefer how all of this looks than some of the Skyrim landscape. Honestly. Just another point to Oblivion, because this is all green, and it's cool, and it, it's all natural, you know? In Skyrim, you have like two, two places, two nature-y places. You have the snow, ice, whiteness, and then you have like the yellow, like, hey, this grass isn't dead but it's on its way just the yellow dead grass look 
Okay, it looks like this is it right here, Malata. Right? Yep, we have found Malata. I need to get the carved panel in here, okay? Uh, okay, very dangerous so far, very dangerous. We got a rat. Mayday, we got a rat. And we got something else on the way. Uh-oh. Well, we might be in trouble here. It might be a second rat. These, for the love of God, do not send a second rat at me. I can't take it. Oh. It wasn't a rat. It, it was a will-o'-wisp. Which is probably even worse. Here's the rat. Got two spriggans. This looks like just your average monster dungeon. Got a lot of blood everywhere, like on the floor, on the side. I saw. Oh no, I think that was just the spriggan blood. Never mind. Uh, let's look at our local map here, because I'm already a little bit lost. Okay. Guess we go this way? I don't understand how, like, mountain lions and stuff can get in here, but there was one there. Uh, this room? We're seeing a lot of spriggans in here. That's interesting. Okay. Moving on. This is a dead end. Okay. Oh, wait. This leads to a new... This is probably the area we come out at because we can't get to that door. Okay. So let's go back this way. That means this dungeon does have a shortcut back from the end, which, you know, I always like. We got Dark Welkin Stones, too. Those are... Extremely dangerous, honestly. Dark Welkin stones do a lot of damage, and I don't like them. Okay, take care of that. We got a stone door, and that's what the key opens, okay? Uh, before I do that, though, I want to hop down here into this poison and loot this. Grand Soul Gem, probably worth it. And get out of there before the poison and the Welkin stones do us in. Okay. Oh, uh, that's a skeleton. I see the shadow, even though the door's closed. Yep, there are skeletons behind these walls. Uh, I'm guessing they're going to open whenever I take the carved panel. Oh, okay. That, that wall just fell. And this is a nether lich. Did the lich, yeah, the lich summon the skeleton. Now this one is just a skeleton. Okay, well, moving on. I guess at this point we don't have to explore the rest. We can uh, just leave and go back and give the carving to Umbakano. I mean, that looks like a boss chest right there, too. But there's, like, a whole nother area here that loops back around. We're definitely going to go through that. Got a Varla stone. That's good to sell. More goodies there. Amulet of Reflection. A Gloom Wraith. I wish this, uh spell effect would wear off because I'm moving pretty slow with it. There we go. Take the gold. And we got another gloom wraith. No, just a regular wraith coming after us. Easy enough. Yeah, this looks like uh, maybe where they buried all the dead. Like a little tomb 
catacombs area. Which would explain all the wraiths I'm seeing here. These are probably the wraiths of the uh, dead people that can't rest in peace because their their home was just burned and razed to the ground. It, it, it isn't even that bad. Like This is like every other alien ruin that the aliens lived in. Like If they lived in the other ones, they can definitely still live in this. If they were alive still, of course. All the aliens are dead. But you get what I'm saying, right? I'm guessing this is a lich, not a ne nether lich. I could have died there. Also, it is just a regular nether lich. That thing almost killed me. Did you guys see that? Like, oh my god. I don't know where this guy's staff went. That's gone. Can I move the body here? Is he on it? No? Okay. Yeah, that thing almost killed me. Keyword almost. Uh, let's continue on. Build two more skeletons. Uh, look around here for anything. A chest, a cask. We're getting some nightshade. That ought to be useful and some potions. We should just about be getting to the end of this zone, too. It should be looping around to the first zone any minute now. Um, okay, I guess these things open and then close immediately. That's why there's switches on both sides. Okay. Uh, anything else around here? I see that. That goes back to the first area, it looks like. So this lich ought to be the last thing in this dungeon. Take his staff of vulnerability. Loot the cask, get a grand soul gem. And let's get on out of here. Oh, one more chest. Uh, where does this... Okay, so it wasn't... See, I thought it was, like, behind this wall here, but no, it was above me. That makes sense. Okay. Alright, how do I... That's how I get out of here. I thought this would take a lot longer, if I'm being honest. But, uh, it turns out it took, like, the perfect amount of time, because from here... We can, uh, go ahead and finish the quest, and we'll be at a good time to finish the episode as well. So let's fast travel back to Umbacano's manor. And give him this carved what panel. Need, Sometimes I just jump like really high too. Like, did you see that? Oh, the manor's locked because it's nighttime. Uh, let's see. T 10 hours. 10 hours. That should put it at 928. Yep. It's open now. Good to see you again, sir. Shall I escort you upstairs to see my master? Let's do it. Very good. Please follow me. I don't know why I can't run up those steps easily. I have to jump up them. Ah, the treasure hunter. Please, have a seat. Ah, yes. My treasure hunting friend. What can I do for you? Uh, yeah, I have... Uh, tell me about Claude Merrick. I believe a little friendly competition always sharpens the wits. Even more reason for you to get back to hunting for my carving. Uh, I have your carving right here from the High Fane. Yes. You learned that it is the ruin now known as Malada. Were you able to recover the carving yet? Got it right here. Wonderful. You are indeed a treasure hunter of exceptional talents. Here is your reward, as promised. Normally, I would give you a chance to celebrate your success, but I do have another task for you. 
if you are interested. A rather urgent one. Okay, so this is important. I'm going to reiterate this next episode. But before you do this task here that he now has for us, if you want to finish the Alien Statues quest, do that one first. Don't take this other task until you've sold all 10 Alien Statues to him. So we're going to leave Goodbye. there. And like I said, we'll probably end the episode off here. And next time, we're going to jump into more Alien Ruins. We're going to hit up some of the medium-sized ones that we have to go to. Brought him a fourth Alien Statue. Still no quest markers or anything, but... uh. The ones he mentioned should be on the map as undiscovered areas now, like Winyan Dawick there. That was one he mentioned. Um, should be two others. Makamintane, that was one. And then Mar Marada or something? Maybe? Miranda, there we go, yeah. So those were the three he mentioned. I'm not sure if they're actually locations or not, because he said uh, he wasn't sure if they were actual locations or not. But uh, I'll come back next episode with the real locations. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.